Okay, guys. We're downstairs. See the fishies? That tank you never saw set up. As well as those. Okay, that's not why we're here. Here because of this. I decided to buy Brent Jr. a brand new carburetor for Christmas. So it came today. We figured we'd take a look at it. I was going to wrap it back up and then give it to him at Christmas. That was my first concern. Open for photography. Almost across it. And it's bulged on the top. So yes, I already opened this with him. But I'm going to show you guys exactly what we saw. Once I saw that, I knew we were in for it. Came with the foam on it. Okay. Came with booklets and stuff. Here was the first thing. Can you see that it's opened? Now bear in mind, there's a brand new carburetor. This isn't refurbished. This isn't anything. This isn't in a discount bin. It's brand new from Holly. Not Summit, not Jags, not SMK Speed, Holly themselves. So we get the carburetor. Okay, the tags and stuff, everything's laying in there. Just give me one second. There you go. Look at some of the cars. I want to put you under the light. We're downstairs. So this is a 600 Ultra Double Pump, they call it. Okay. They had an optional choke. So the difference between with the choke and without the choke was $15. So I said to Junior, I never had luck in the olden days with the Holly chokes, but I might as well get it. If it works, we're fine. If not, I'll just take it off. And I figured it was $15. Now the Ultra means it's made of aluminum. Cast aluminum, cast aluminum, cast aluminum, billet aluminum, billet aluminum, billet aluminum. Billet aluminum, billet aluminum. Okay, anodized. It's obviously gray and black. Okay. We take it out and immediately I can see the handprints all over it. All over the side glasses. Has the guy's fingerprints on it. Here, here. Okay. There's something wrong with the anodizing here. Big time. Can you guys see it? And if I catch it just right, then there's something wrong with like the casting. So there's clearly something wrong with the anodizing right here. Now the reason we bought this wasn't the aluminum, it was the anodizing. I know the anodizing would last a very long time. He likes the color combination, I'm more of a gold type guy. Okay, plus... Let me, let me put it on something, hold on. Sit here. Might as well put it on there, it's already crushed. Okay. Now, I'm not showing you that because it's out of adjustment. It's clearly out of adjustment. The problem is, is the threads would be below the locking part of the nut to make this actually touch. So that means there's nothing wrong with the car, but it means this lever is bent. So it's not a matter of adjusting. It's a matter of taking this lever off, rebending it, putting it on, and adjusting it. Okay, I think the person returned it because what they saw here, I don't even think they saw that. So, but it's definitely a return. There was some couple scratch marks on the bottom. A little minor from being handled. But, um, you know, I just finished up the second 600 today. You guys only saw the one. I did the second one. second one uh, was more 
intact or more um, preserved is the correct word and the quality between our carburetor and this carburetor <coughs> is night and day uh, this one has the Ford kick down if needed so the bottom line is um, yeah, look at it. you can see it now now if you had just a normal air cleaner that came down you know what I mean you could take care of this on yourself you're not going to see this but if you remember here's a velocity stack coming up this is all seen the whole carburetor is seen okay um, so basically we called and we called too late and they were closed so um, yeah so I have to contact them about this um, I don't know to some people that wouldn't bother them but if you guys remember a year ago when I first did the carburetor on the car he turned around he bought a brand new 650 um, did I say 600 this is a 650 um, he bought a brand new 650 double pump gold you know the standard type carburetor and it looked like it was dragged to a sand mill before they did the dichromate on it it was brutal and it was actually running down so it looked like it was done and then the bowl was hung like this and it ran like a bad paint job with all streaks coming down and dripping off the bowl it was like you can't even it was like ridiculous um that one we bought from a uh it was brand new in the box but we bought it from a you know a regular speed shop and we returned it this one we brought directly from holly themselves so this is what holly will send back out now i said to junior i mean tell me what you think okay so whoops, someone bought this they returned it now it comes back across the table right and there's a guy working at holly that has to look it over real quick now he's got bosses on his ass i'm sure so he looks at it real quick he goes like this ah, you know what i mean his standards are low chucks it in the box calls it good puts this tape on there saying that it was returned he took pictures of it they gave the guy's money back that's what I'm assuming that means. What else would it mean? Okay. But when you spend the type of money they get for these carburetors, and you open it up, and the bag's torn open, and just so you know, the stuff wasn't in the bag. It was floating in the box. Okay, this is, this is not even a dollar's worth of stuff. You take a new one and put it in there with it, wouldn't you? Okay, think of what this carburetor cost, think of what this cost. You put this in there, now I open up the carburetor box. This is fully intact, okay, so nobody's played with it. I see a couple of fingerprints on it, okay, somebody bought it, it wasn't what they wanted, they returned it. But there's staining on it, so let's call them and see what they want to do, okay. But now, the first taste in your mouth is an actual open piece returned. I don't even know if there's anything missing on there. I don't have a clue in the world. I don't know what's supposed to be in the bag. You know, the hot wire, the ground wire, the gasket, and the air horn gasket. I don't know if there's supposed to be more things. I don't even know if some of those books were in there. I really don't know. But the first taste you get in your mouth is that and the labels down the side. Right from Holly themselves. So with that, I don't know. I, I, I Holly is a massive, massive corporation. Massive corporation. Um, corporations only stay on top when they take care of the people that they're serving. And if they think one or two people, if they, eh, let's see if we can get by with it. If that's the attitude they have, let's see. If, let's see if we can get this to slide. You know what I mean? Let's, let's see if it'll slide. Type of attitude that's when you start to sink you know like when you buy a her shifter oh wait how many times were they bought out it's all the same crap in the end dude I find it I find it disappointing I'm glad we opened this because I would not want to hand this to somebody as a present so um, like I said it was too late for us to contact we'll contact them tomorrow and uh if it seems like I'm bitching and crying, 
six, seven hundred dollars for this. Bear in mind, they've been making this for 60 years. This should be a hundred and fifty dollar part. I don't care what anybody says. Okay, it's far cheaper than fuel injection. But why the majority of people still use carburetors? And I'm blessed, I'm the type of person that can do any circuit in the carburetor, repair any circuit in the carburetor, as well as program and repair anything in any EFI setup. So to me, it doesn't matter which way I go. I just like this better. Okay. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I guess there'll be a follow-up visit. Just so you know, the pair of uh, 600 blower carburetors are done. Put back together, no gaskets, um, to be used in a later date. Just so if anybody was following that, I didn't videotape the second one. Uh, but the second one is done and complete, so we'll move on. So that completed the 750 and the two 600s. And now we have this 650 here that's, uh, I'm sure, on its way back. So, like I said, if I had a full-size air cleaner and this was covered and they wanted to work something out, I would do it. But since this is all right out in your face, and think of it this way. You sink 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 grand into a car. And if you think those numbers are crazy, that's what those cars are. 200 grand. 250 grand. You buy a carburetor. And it looks like that. This is the crowning jewel on top of the engine, on top of the intake. That's usually 6, 8 inches tall. This is what's out in your face. Do you accept it? I say no.